I happened to be in a store which had a television. I actually saw something happening on the screen as I went in. Gosh, my, my son's in New York. I hope he's nowhere near that, I mean, literally, because I didn't know. And so then I came home and but then the world ended for me. Joy's son was just 29 when he was killed. Ollie Bennett had arrived at a morning conference at the World Trade Center on the 11th of September 2001, but he never left. It's extraordinary. Uh, I mean, it's such, such a long time in years. That it's, it's almost unbelievable, but it doesn't feel like that for me. It literally feels like yesterday. We, we've missed so much of what he might have been, um, of any of any connection with him anymore, ever. Um, but that's that's death, isn't it? If people say, oh, "How many children have you got?" I'm not going to say I had one child. I have two children. But then you have to say the next bit, and it's so shocking that you shock the other person, so it's very difficult. And that's like every day of my life. Ollie was one of 67 British people who died that day. There were others who managed to get out. Janice Brooks moved from London to New York just three weeks before the planes hit. She was starting her dream job. All we did was go to work, complete innocent in all of this, and to lose... 61 people, that's all. and that's why I do this. And this, isn't, this isn't about me, it's about trying to honour the, honour the day, remember the day, and remember my friend. On this 20th anniversary of 9-11, the families of the British victims will gather in private. But events of the last month in Afghanistan have brought anger for many. There's been a lot of change, a lot of political shift, but especially with what's happened in the last four weeks, are we in a, a, a safer world from events that happened that day? No. I don't, I, I, I personally don't think we are at all. And, um, you know, by, 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 by what we've done in this last three or four weeks, I mean, you know, other people might not think that's very clever, and um, I think the world is not in a safe place. Dan Whitehead, Sky News.